Right, for those of you who like to use Excel, there are a few new things in version 1.33.0 uh, that you need to know about. So let me show you what that, those are. Let's open a market quickly. Let me select um, all trace this afternoon. We'll go for this one that's in a while. To load up a market, now let's open a spreadsheet and link to that market. Uh, these are the templates supplied. If, you, if you're wondering where those are on the uh, hard drive, by the way, if you see in the address here, or the location on the hard drive, they're under the uh, Program Files directory, under Bet Angel Limited, the Bet Angel Professional, and the Templates directory, and then you'll see these three. But the one I'm going to use is the bare template, open workbook, and this brings up Microsoft Excel. So, let's connect that market to the spreadsheet and you'll see that the data is populating as normal. So, what's new? Well, let me show you. If you go along to the far right, you'll see all, all this extra information that we've had for a while. But what I want to show you is actually going to appear in these columns here. So what are they? Let's go to the settings editor and there's some new options under the Excel tab. And these are the options here. So additional columns. Tick the data items that you wish to be transferred to the worksheet. So if I tick saddle cloth number and we go back to our spreadsheet you can now see that column AF has a saddle cloth number. In fact, if I bring this over and we'll add more. So if I click stall number, that populates in the next column. This particular race, uh, there are no stall numbers. Jockey name, and trainer name, and so on. So we can now bring in all this data into the spreadsheet and projected SP uh, provided by Betfair. Um, as we take away columns, so in this particular race, stall number is not, not required. We untick that and you'll see all the other data shifts over uh, to fill those columns. And we can pick and choose whichever ones we want. So that's one thing in Excel. The other new information that is in Excel um, which we put in by uh, as a customer request. Now you're probably aware that column A is hidden, so let's just unhide that. Click on there and select unhide. Now we'll see some extra information that is hidden. Normally you wouldn't be using these, these are the selection IDs in the particular market. And in uh, cell A1 there's now the Betfair market ID so you may find that useful. That's now included in the spreadsheet. But um, if you're not going to use that, keep it hidden. And that is a new information available in Excel. Enjoy!